This is Allison Hitt, an APRN student with the College of Nursing and Health Professions. My study is called An Examination of Referral Rates to Diabetes, Self-Management, Education. I want to first start by just giving acknowledgments to Dr. Chris Jordan and also Leah Privet for their guidance and expertise with this project. When looking at diabetes, it's one of the most prevalent chronic diseases in the United States. Each year, 1.5 million people are diagnosed with diabetes. The prevalence rate for diabetes in 2015 was estimated at 30 million Americans. That's 9.4% of the U.S. population. When you look at Arkansas, the rates are even higher at an estimated 12.1%. Diabetes self-management is so important for people with type 2 diabetes. Um, there has been an associated increased use of primary care and preventive services and less frequent use of acute care and inpatient hospital services when patients have diabetes self-management education. <clears throat> Patients who participate in diabetes self-management education are also more likely to follow best practice treatment recommendations, and they have a lowered Medicare claims cost. The purpose of this study is to examine the rates of referrals to diabetes self-management education for male and female patients ages 40 to 65 in a local primary care clinic in Paragould, Arkansas, comparative to the national rate of five to seven percent. In 2015, the American Diabetes Association, American Association of Diabetes Educators, and Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics issued a joint position statement on the importance of diabetes self-management education in type two patients. The position statement included an evidence-based diabetes education algorithm that visually depicts when to refer people with type two diabetes to education services. They identified four critical times. Upon diagnosis, during annual assessment, when a person with diabetes has new complicating factors, and then lastly, upon transitions in care. The findings from our research project. This, the results of this quality improvement project revealed that in this current clinic, clinic setting, 52% of patients with diabetes had a referral in place for education. This equated to 26 out of the 50 charts that were viewed had a do documentation of the referral in place. For the 26, 12 are male patients, 14 were female patients, and the average age of the patients was 60. So when you look at these numbers for this particular clinic, um, they are much higher than the national average, which is only five to seven percent. So this clinic did exceptionally well. We would like for them to continue that and we wanna share with other providers some action plans on ways to increase the referral rates. And that's just providing education to the providers as well, letting them know the importance of diabetes self-management for their patients with type 2 diabetes. A marketing plan that focuses on the benefit would also be beneficial. And then if there were more diabetes self-management programs in place. And then lastly, if we were able to use telehealth and more mobile services, this might increase um, a provider's willing, willingness to make the referral also and also makes it easier for the patients. Just a few limitations for this study, just that basically it's a very small study. Only 50 patient charts were reviewed. Um, it is at a small clinic um, in rural Arkansas with only three providers in the clinic. So that concludes my presentation of an examination of referral rates to diabetes self-management education. Thank you.